Hi, I'm Meredith from Peachy Speechy. I'm a speech language pathologist and today we're going to talk about that tricky R sound again. Today we're going to be focusing on tongue placement, specifically lifting the back sides of your tongue up to touch the insides of your back teeth and I call that the taco tongue position. I do have other videos about the R sound and I actually recommend watching those first. After you watch those videos, if you're still struggling with tongue position, this is the video for you because in this video, I'm gonna be going over tongue placement with extra detail, with extra visuals, because that R sound is extra tricky. The R sound can be made with two main tongue positions, bunched or retroflexed. This video is mainly gonna focus on the bunched position, but if you're working on retroflexed, you might find this helpful if you're struggling with lifting the backsides of your tongue up. Let's go over some anatomy really quick. When you open your mouth, you can see your back molars here. These are your back teeth. You can also see your tongue. These are the back sides of your tongue, right here and here, the back sides. When we're putting our tongue into the taco position for the R sound, the back sides of your tongue are going to lift up and touch inside your back teeth, right here. I've marked these spots with Play-Doh for you so you can really see them. These are the spots inside your back teeth that you're gonna lift the back sides of your tongue to. So let me show you. The back sides of your tongue are gonna lift up and touch those spots inside your back teeth, just like this. When you lift the back sides of your tongue up, there's a groove in the middle of your tongue. That's kind of shaped like a taco. That's why I call this position taco tongue. Some people call it the tongue bowl, the tongue valley, the butterfly position, the U position, but I think it's most fun to call it the taco tongue. Let's do this step by step together. First, I need you to really think about the back sides of your tongue. I want you to bite down on the back sides of your tongue very gently with your molars. This helps you think about the parts of your tongue that will be lifting up. Sometimes I even rub the back sides of my student's tongue with a lollipop or dental swab to show them where the back sides of their tongue are. Now let's lift. I want you to lift those back sides of your tongue up, up, up. It's gonna to touch here and here, and there's gonna be a groove in the middle of your tongue, like a taco. Press the back sides of your tongue into the insides of your back teeth and hold it. Do you feel that taco shape? Here's a taco shell, let's put it in the mouth. That's kind of silly looking, but that's what I mean when I say taco tongue. The back sides are lifted up, touching inside the back teeth. Good. Do this a few times to get used to putting your tongue in the right spot. I'll put some tacos on the screen. Every time you see a taco, lift the back sides of your tongue up to touch the insides of your back teeth and hold the position, the taco tongue position. Great job. Next, we're gonna keep our tongue in the taco position, but we're gonna also slide it back and make it tight and turn our voices on. That's gonna make the R sound, err. Next, we're gonna zoom in so you can see my tongue in the taco tongue position. First, I'm gonna do it quietly, and then I'm gonna say the R sound. Err, err. Err. Could you see it? Okay, let's get in at a little bit different angle so you can see my tongue and my mouth as I say the R sound some more. Err. 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 It can be tricky to see what my tongue is doing in my mouth, right? That's one of the things that makes the R sound so challenging. Now that you've seen me do it, I want you to try. I'm gonna show you some tacos on the screen, and every time you see a taco, I want you to say your R sound. Don't forget, back sides of your tongue are gonna be up on the insides of your back teeth. Your tongue is gonna slide back and be tight. Err. Great job practicing. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it helped you better understand tongue placement for that tricky R sound. 
It's such a challenging sound that sometimes people need lots and lots of practice before they can get it. So if you need a little more practice, just play this video again. To the SLPs watching this video, I wrote a workbook. I can say the R sound. This workbook is over 300 pages. It's awesome. It takes you step by step through teaching the R sound with lots of elicitation techniques and drill practice sheets. So you can get this on Amazon in the printed version like this, or you can download the digital copy at pgspeechy.com. We also have tons of great t-shirts, tote bags, coffee mugs, all kinds of great things at pgspeechy.com. So be sure to check that out as well.